एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम series what exactly a series means a series is basically sum of uh, terms of a sequence and sequence uh, we we know that there uh, if there is a pattern in numbers we call that sequence and if we are adding those numbers we call that series sum of the series uh, is important suppose uh, you are you are just uh, if i ask you uh, so add the uh, uh, add numbers 1 to 100 we have a formula and n plus 1 by 2 so it means if we if the if the sequ if the series is converging we have some important uh, uh, real life uh, application and suppose adding 100 numbers if i just tell you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 100 you cannot add uh, you have to calculate you need to have calculator but we have a formula and that is uh, the formula comes if the sequence is converging and then easily we can define the sum of the series Hello everyone I am Dr Seema Thakran welcome to S Chand Academy for engineering mathematics please refer to the book by S Chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below uh, so let's start uh, under uh, let's start understanding the converge series and convergence of a series even uh, if there is convergence of a series obviously divergence also exists but divergence has no meaning but there are series uh, which are uh, diverging series so let's starts with series and i'll start with the definition first so series was what uh, exactly series means as i told you just add up the uh, 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 sequence terms we will get the series it means if i am writing a1 plus plus and so on an if i am writing it this way this is series i have add up the uh, sequence uh, terms and uh, this i got so this is series examples we can take as we uh, took in sequence also so suppose uh, this is my series it means my series this time i will not put a comma i'll I, i'll keep writing plus sign because this is summation so 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on if my sequence is this summation 1 by n it means my series will look like this it is not that uh, the way you were calculating the series uh, sequence converges the same way you can find the series convergence so for series we have some standard formulas particularly i'll start with geometric series so for convergence and divergence of geometric series i'll start gpap you have already studied in your 12th class geometric progression and uh, uh, arithmetic progression geometric progression means you have common ratio so the same way geometric series will have common ratio the series will look like i just write the uh, series uh, uh, general form and the series look like 1 plus r plus r square and so on so this is my geometric series n from 1 to you just notice i always start n from 1 to infinity and is natural number so this this is geometric series geometric series has conditions for convergence and divergence so for convergence if r is less than 1 if you have a geometric series it means a common ratio you have and that common ratio is less than 1 this is common ratio then you say that the series is converging for divergence if r is greater than equal to 1 you will say that the series is diverging i just take up quick three examples and this is one this is two and three and the example
So I'll start with this. Now you just see that 1 plus 1 plus 1 and you keep, keep adding 1 plus 1 plus 1. There is no end and you cannot sum it like uh, that how many ones uh, you have in this series and it is geometric series. On the basis of that result, so this is geometric series with common ratio 1. So this will be diverging because it is not like uh, you cannot define this sum 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. It keeps going and you cannot like uh, come to a particular uh, point where you can define this sum. So it is diverging. Now for uh, this series, common ratio is how much? This series is uh, basically what series? This is half plus half square plus half cube. This is the expansion of this series. Thus, common ratio is, how much, uh, what is the common ratio? This is half. So, half is less than 1. Half is less than 1. So, by the result, this is converging. You can see that uh, uh, the checking of convergence of a sequence and checking of di divergence of a sequence totally, uh, conver sorry, convergence of a sequence, convergence of a series, both are both have different different methods. So don't get confused and uh, understand the formulas carefully. So this, uh, this series is 2 plus 2 square 2 cube. I'm just putting the value of n. So first term 2 plus 2 square 2 cube. So common ratio is 2 which is greater than 1. So this is again diverging. So it means if you have common ratio or a geometric series easy to check which series is converging, which series is diverging. Anyhow convergent sequence uh, series uh, are very important uh, if we talk about from application point of view. Now I am taking another uh, a series which is P series we call it. So, P series. Geometric series was uh, the series in which we have, uh, we have a common ratio and fixed common ratio. P series look like this. So, it means this is the form of the P series. I write the nth term also. If you have this type of P series, P series we call it. P, P basically fix, P is greater than 0. So, for if you have such series for P greater than 1, the series will converge. For com, uh, uh, if you notice for uh, geometric series, for R uh, common ratio less than 1, the series was converging. But for P series, P greater than, if P is greater than 1, the series will converge. It means for P less than equal to 1, the series will diverge. So, I just take up one example and my first example is 1 by n, 1 plus 1 by 2. What is p here? The p is 1. So, it means it is diverging. If I take another example, you can see by the results, the checking of series, if we have particular series, p series, geometric series, the uh, concept is getting easy. So this is, this time P is 2 which is greater than 1. So this series is converging. Now if I take this n to the power half, it means 1 plus 2 power half then 1 upon 3 power this. So P is 1 by 2 less than 1. So, diverging. Easy to check only on the basis of p value. If p is greater than 1, converging. If p is less than equal to 1, diverging. So, these are some these are the standard formulas. Uh, standard series, you can say. The geometric series and p series. And in all the three possibilities, uh, we have checked for p value and for common ratio. That when we say a series is converging or diverging. But it's not that uh, we have some uh, n. Now we have uh, one important result and that is we call it necessary condition. The star uh, condition I will say. The, if you are uh, reading series concept, this statement, this necessary condition you must be knowing and this state that if 
summation un the series is converging then limit un will be zero it is only necessary condition it is not sufficient what does it state it states that if you already know that your series is converging you already know your series is converging if the series is converging the nh term limit will be 100% zero so this is the necessary condition it means i'll just go reverse way if in case you know that the limit is not equal to zero if the limit is not equal to zero then you are very sure that the series is not converging very important result it means if you in advance if you know that the limit of the nth term is not zero then easily you can say that the limit a series is not converging one example i am taking and suppose this is my series and i am asked to find out whether the series is converging or not so first term is what 1 by 2 then second term is 2 by 3 then 3 by 4 and so on my nth term is un that is n by n plus 1 first i'll check the limit and the limit is as this is infinity and we i always suggest that for infinity take out the infinity part outside and then you discuss the limit and finally you can see the limit is 1 which is non zero and as per the necessary condition this implies summation un is not converging so then one more example quick example suppose we have cos of 1 by n if you write the terms of this series very difficult series or very complicated you will find it cos 1 then cos of 1 by 2 in radian if you keep checking you cannot find the uh, convergence that way so now the nth term limit i'll check if in case it is non-zero i on the basis of necessary condition i'll directly say that this is not converging so limit cos of 1 by n cos of 1 by n means when you uh, put the limit this is cos 0 and cos 0 is how much 1 and that is non-zero so again by necessary condition this series is not converging now i just clear one more thing suppose i have sine of 1 by n sometimes you misunderstood the result also because uh, the result is only necessary uh, condition not sufficient condition what does that mean suppose cos sine of 1 by n so limit a sine of 1 by n it is coming out to be 0 it means this time if it is 0 on the basis of this you cannot say whether the series is converging or diverging but if it is non-zero then you are very sure that the series is not converging so uh, here you cannot apply any uh, that necessary condition it means you need to have uh, uh, knowledge of some other test to check whether this series is convergent or divergent so in part two we'll be covering that part and uh, we'll learn uh, we'll uh, uh, study important tests to check the convergence and divergence of series so in this part basically we understood uh, what is series how we check or what basically how the series will uh, look like and then uh, necessary condition for a convergence of a series we uh, did some examples based on uh, the necessary condition and p series we did uh, side by side we did geometric series uh, for convergence and divergence of the series in part 2 we'll be covering important tests to check uh, where the uh, necessary condition is failing or the, the series is not geometric series or the series is not p series so we'll uh, we'll understand those uh, tests in part two for engineering mathematics please refer to the book by Ashan publishing the book is uh, very good and you find the concepts very easy very easy explanation for the questions for the theorems for the concepts so please refer to the book by Ashan publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below 
प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एस चांद अकेडमी डोंट फू गेट टू प्रेस दी बेल आइकन फॉर द फ्यूचर अपडेट स्टे कनेक्टेड स्टे ट्यून कीप वॉचिंग द अपकमिंग वीडियोज थैंक यू All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.